I love getting my nose on a fragrance house that I know nothing about. <laughs> I've heard the name being recommended to me, but I don't know anything about this scent, and I'm a sucker for an amber fragrance. If you watch this channel, you know that my nose really leans towards these bolder, darker, richer, colder weather fragrances, and amber is one of those notes that absolutely move my monkey. Shut up and take my money. So the fragrance we're gonna be trying today is Thomas Cosmala Apres L'Amour number no. four. <laughs> I butchered that name. Say my name. I know nothing about this scent. It was another blind pick as usual, and I want to see if I can discover a house that maybe just piques my interest a little bit. Let's roll my music so we can check out number four by Thomas Cosmala, Apres la Amoi. Bless you. Bless you, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, c 3 u 3 b 3 Shout out to Max Aroma for sponsoring today's video and me for selecting this fragrance. Now, it was the notes that kind of moved me on this particular Thomas Cosmala fragrance. I have seen the name on my IG lives. People mention, hey, have you smelled number whatever by Thomas Cosmala? And I'm like, no. Who, what, where, and why, and when? Who? 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 What are you, fucking owl? But the notes are indicated in the back of the fragrance, which is absolutely helpful for me to relate to y'all. But these are what really kind of like piqued my interest a little bit to see if this indie niche house really is interesting. So since they're on the box, let's jump right into it. It's bitter orange, lemon zest, aromatic, fresh, spicy, dry woods, amber, and musk. Here's what the presentation looks like. It sounds kind of like a no-brainer fragrance, like it has a little bit of vibrancy and a little bit of amber. I'm all about it. Look, it's a full-blown booklet. What the hell is this in here? It's got like a booklet of some sort. Domes Cosmala, what is it? Was like a nude? What are we doing here? Oh, hi. Hi, Becky. Who's that? I'm gonna put this on my wall here. We'll put Becky back here. Becky's gonna smell fragrances with Uncle Kuba. Is it a scratch and sniff? I'm sorry. Delete this shit, bro. Delete it. All right, Becky's gonna chill back there with us. So here's what the Thomas Cosmala fragrance looks like. A very clear looking, like, you can see right through the muffler. There's nothing, I mean, there's little things floating in here. It seems like a little bit of a, I don't know, a thicker consistency. Very simple presentation, very fancy, very Euro. It has that kind of sleek, clean, designer-esque feel like a boutique if you're walking through, like, Paris or something like that. Which, let's be clear, I've, shits is only seen on TV. I've never been to Paris. I'm broke. Can felons get a passport? I'm kidding, I'm not a felon. That's a, that's a lie. Don't I for me, Tom. Guy. All right, Thomas Cosmala number four, Apres la Amour. Becky, this better not suck. All right, let's get into this fragrance and see what kind of energy we're getting off this. I like the presentation so far, very clean. I like the notes. Let's see about the scent. Oh, kind of reminded me of something. It's got a little bit of Baccarat Rouge 540-esque, but there's something uh, definitely tickling my pickle about this scent. It has a little bit of Baccarat, very sweet, musky. Oh, it's hitting my spine. I think it's double goose pimpies right now. Oh, it is sweet, candied, very musk forward. The sugary amberness does kind of BR540 it for me. A little bit. I wonder if it's supposed to, maybe it's, could be me. I don't know. Pretty decent atomizer. Yeah, good distribution on that atomizer. Let me air it out a second. I don't want it all up in my face and eat it. Been happening a lot lately. Very light on the skin, very airy, but yeah, and that BR540 space, which isn't a bad thing, but doesn't feel super unique to my nose. Now again, that's how I interpret it. I didn't look up anything on the fragrance other than the notes. It is very light. It seems to be more of a little bit of a sillage whore than, and, than a skin fragrance, although it's just one spray. Obviously, I'm a five sprayer. I'm just trying to get the first impressions and first thoughts of it. It's musky forward. It's definitely citrus ambery, but I do get some resemblance to the 540 ish DNA as far as that sweet cotton candy musk kind of energy. It is light. It is very wearable. It is a little bit effervescent. There's also like a like a tea element, like a white tea leaf kind of energy off of it. It becomes very like clean. It's like a clean version of Baccarat Rouge 540 with a slight element of tea followed by a heavy musk punch trying to give this fragrance some body. There's a lot of spice energy in here. There's a lot of musk. The sweetness here isn't overpowering, but it is in that space of that ambery sweetness cotton candy vibe of Baccarat Rouge. Right off a rip, the fragrance is not offensive at all. Very nice, extremely wearable, beautiful scent profile. It is a lighter tea version, again, repeatingly throughout, but I'm putting it in your brain that this is how I'm interpreting of it. BR540, a lighter concentration with a tea element that's very musk forward, sweet, ambery, and a bunch of spices. I'm not getting much of the lemon note or that bitter orange that the fragrance 
fragrance notes indicate. I can definitely tell you that this is a wild unisex fragrance. Very pleasant to wear. The thing is currently on Max Aroma, it's under 120 bucks. Is it worth the 120 bucks? I'd say so. Light sweet, very musky. The performance is not amazing unless it's one of those fragrances that is light on me and everybody else can smell it. Obviously, I can't determine it. This is a first impression. But the scent profile itself, very nice, very sexy, super unisex, musky, sweet, tea-ish type vibe. There's really nothing more to say about this scent profile. I wish it was a little bit more unique to my palette, but I don't think for 115, 120 bucks, anybody's really gonna be offended by this fragrance at all. And if you don't wanna spend the extra 100 and some odd dollars to get a Baccarat Rouge and gray market but want a softer take of that scent profile that will get you compliments but potentially doesn't have the same performance this might be something to look at i'm interested to see other fragrances from this brand for sure i like what they tried to do here and i think it's a very sexy slash handsome scent profile but it didn't absolutely blow my nuts away for me it's a good half a ball spray and that's what i'm gonna do Still light, still airy, still musky, but honestly, I'm gonna go take a shower right now, loof in my asshole, and use this as my scent of the day and see what kind of energy I'm getting after a hot shower, my pores are all open, and then I'll touch back with you guys to see what type of performance this has on my skin. But so far, half a ball spray, very nice scent. I wanna know more or which one's the best of the Tamis Cosmala, Cosmala house. Leave it in the comments below. Love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and let me know which one is your shit or have you smelled number four and do you feel like it kind of smells like that too? Smooches.